피해 벗고 지옥으로 발걸음들을 옮긴 애국자들 마땅히 이 자리에 있어야 할 우리의 핵심 Hey guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. The young leader was born into a mythology that taught the Kim's nation that the semi-divine dynasty had a close affinity with the near sacred Mount Pike II on the Korean Chinese border. Young Kim will naturally be born with valiant virtues and preternatural strength. In fact, when he was named as a leader in 2011, the announcement made it clear that he inherits the ideology, leadership, courage, and audacity of comrade Kim Jong-il, and no one wants to mess with this president. Audacity wasn't an inappropriate word to use. Within five years, he had executed his uncle. He was widely believed to have ordered the assassination of his half-brother at Kuala Lumpur Airport, and North Korea had, so he claimed, developed a hydrogen bomb that could be mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea has hanged Kim Jong's uncle Un as a traitor for all ages who admitted to planning a coup, state media reported. Jang Song Thak, once one of the country's most influential individuals, has been accused of everything from planning to overthrowing the state to investigating catastrophic currency changes to disseminating pornography in the official news media KCNA article. He was criticized as a worse than a dog and despicable human scum. KCNA reported that the special military tribunal found him guilty of treason and the Rodong Sinman newspaper published a picture of him bound and held by uniformed guards in the courtroom. North Korea reported earlier this week that Jang, believed to be in the late 1960s, had been deprived of all positions and removed from the Workers' Party for offenses including factionalism, corruption, and dissolution. But many felt that his marriage to the young leader's aunt, the niece of the late Kim Jong-il, was likely to save his life. The long, bombastic, and often very bizarre story of Jang's supposed admission that he was attempting to destabilize the government, sparking resentment among the military. He wanted to become prime minister as North Korea approached bankruptcy and used unlawfully obtained resources to ensure that citizens and service members would yell hurrah for me and that his coup would succeed smoothly. It also reported that it followed a decadent capitalist lifestyle, squandering at least 4.6 million euros in 2009 alone, even in an international casino, and intentionally thwarted building ventures in Pyongyang. He sold natural resources at random and practiced treachery by selling off land to the Razan Special Economic Zone for five decades, he said, apparently in reference to an agreement with Russia. Other violations cited included half-hearted cheers as Kim came to power and Jang's reckless order to the security forces to install a granite block with Kim's signature in a shaded corner rather than in front of their headquarters. Initially, he wasn't considered to be in the picture to take up the mantle of his father. Analysts concentrated instead on his older half-brother Kim Jong-nam and his older full-brother Kim Jong-chol. But Kim Jong-nam's expulsion from Japan in May 2001 and Kim Jong-chol's unmanliness strengthened his odds. He is known to have attended Kim Il-sung Military University since his return to Pyongyang. His mother was thought to be Kim Jong-il's favorite wife, and she specifically pointed to her son, allegedly naming him the Morning Star King. <laughs> In August 2010, when Kim Jong-il visited China, one report said Kim Jong-un had accompanied his father on the trip. By then, he was generally seen as the heir appearing, and when Kim Jong-il died, this was soon confirmed. Mr. Kim delivered his first public speech as North Korea celebrated the 100th anniversary of the birth of Kim Il-sung on April 15, 2012 praising the military first policy and pledging that his country will be attacked forever. Under him, the growth of North Korea's nuclear and missile programs has progressed and seems to have made rapid progress. Four other nuclear tests have been carried out, taking the regime to a total of six. Pyongyang says that it has successfully tested a miniaturized hydrogen bomb that could be mounted into a long-range rocket 
but analysts remain divided about how advanced the program is. As tension grew between the two parties, Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim became involved in an extremely fiery war of words. Mr. Trump dubbed the North Korean leader a rocket man on a suicide mission, while Mr. Kim called the U.S. leader a mentally deranged U.S. dotard. Yet surprisingly, in his New Year's speech, Mr. Kim gave an olive branch to Seoul, saying that he was open to dialogue and could be sending a team to the February 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. A whirlwind of political action ensued, with two Koreas marching under one banner at the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games and high-level talks taking place between the two sides. Mr. Kim also made his first recognized trip abroad as a leader, taking a train to Beijing, North Korea's key ally and trade partner. Mr. Kim has sought to strengthen relations with Mr. Trump, and in April 2018, the two leaders conducted unprecedented face-to-face -face talks in Singapore aimed at denuclearizing North Korea. The following year, the two leaders, joined by South Korea's Moon Jae-in, participated in an impromptu but largely symbolic meeting in the demilitarized DMC that separates North and South Korea. However, relations between the U.S. and North Korea plummeted later, and the second Trump-Kim summit in Hanoi in March 2019 ended unexpectedly without any agreement. The talks failed after the Trump administration declined to lift the sanctions until Pyongyang had completely scrapped its nuclear program. Then, in January 2020, Mr. Kim said that he was putting an end to the suspension of nuclear and long-range missile testing during the U.S. talks, warning that the world will witness a new strategic weapon. In October of that year, North Korea unveiled its largest ICBM to date, and in January 2021, it unveiled a new submarine-launched missile dubbed the world's most powerful weapon. Domestically, Mr. Kim's frequent replacement of defense ministers, at least six men have been in office since 2011, has been seen by other observers as a sign of his loss of faith in the allegiance of the armed forces. The most prominent hint of a potential power struggle within the North Korean elite came in December 2013 when Kim Jong-un ordered the execution of his uncle Chong Song Thak. The state media said that they were plotting a takeover. Mr. Kim is also commonly believed to have ordered the assassination of his estranged half-brother Kim Jong-nam at Kuala Lumpur International Airport in February 2017. Not much of Mr. Kim's personal life was documented before the television videos of an anonymous woman attending activities with him emerged. In July 2012, the state media revealed that Mr. Kim had been married to comrade Ri Sol Ju. Nothing is known of Miss Ri, but her elegant appearance prompted observers to believe that she was a member of the upper class elite. Reports also indicated that Miss Ri may have been a singer who captured Mr. Kim's eye during a set. But give us your thoughts about this in the comment section below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content such as this in the future. Until next time, take care and goodbye.